Hi, I'm making a quick video to show you how to use MailChimp to resend an email that's already gone out, whether it's a, a one-off email or a newsletter, and to send it to people that haven't opened it. And the secret here is to resend the email two or maybe even three times, and studies have shown, tests have shown, that by sending, resending an email two or three times, you can increase your open rates by 30 to 50 percent. Um, one of the little tricks of this as well is when you resend the email, rather than just resending it exactly as it is, you change the subject line. So it's a little bit of a test, but you're also sending it to someone that's had the email but hasn't opened it. So let me show you how you do that. So I'm in, I've logged into MailChimp. I'm looking at my campaigns and this is the one here that I'm this was a newsletter that went out on the 1st of May and what I want to do it was opened by 42 percent of people out of 451 so what I want to do I want to email that, that now to the 57 percent <laughs> of people that didn't open the email I could also choose to resend it to anyone that didn't click but I'm going to focus on open rates because you obviously want more people on our list to open this email so that's the campaign that we're looking at so the first step is to go to lists and find the list and what you do here is click on segments and if you haven't got any segments already you'll create a segment I've already done this a couple of times so I want to create one called new segment now you can see at the top here the list this list has got 449 people on it so what we're going to do we're going to look for a subscriber match so we're going to look for campaign activity was did not open as you say you can you can sort your list by people that did open your emails you can sort by people that clicked um, but I'm going to sort by people that did not open now if you have a look you can this is quite sophisticated actually you can choose to send it to anyone that hasn't opened any of the last five campaigns or you can actually pick the one so for us it was this one here the May 2015 you can see here it says sent campaigns so we can actually go back you can even go back and do this retrospectively um, anyone that hasn't opened for example like the last five newsletters the last five um, emails that you've sent but so in this particular example I'm going to just uh, pick this one here and I'm going to click on preview segments. I want to see how many people are in there. Right, 260 subscribers. That's about right, isn't it? When you, we know it's sort of roughly about 50%. And then all you do is you save that segment. So I'm going to call it Did Not Open May Newsletter. And that's now a saved segment. It will be when it's saved. So there we are. Now, if I want to send an email to those people. I'm going to go into create campaign. That's oh, sorry, let's go back. We're going to resend the same one, aren't we? So I'm going to go to this one here. I'm going to click on replicate. Um, and as you can see here, I'm going to send it. This is the list here with 440. I'm going to save it to a saved segment. And you can see you get a drop down menu here. Um, and I called it did not open May newsletter and then next and then we're into our email template and off we go so now I'm sending this to my same list but to people that didn't open it what I would do I'm going to call it May 2015 did not open the first time um, secret is to change the email subject line so we had how to win the homework battle I'm going to have to write that in a completely different way. So um, I'm going to call this homework success ideas parents. So let, we're just going to try that and see if that works. I'm not going to change anything else at all. So we're literally just testing that as a subject line. There we are, so let's just check it's all right to go. So we're gonna send this to 260 recipients. Subject line is homework success ideas for parents. I'm gonna change that actually. 
think I had it right the first time. Homework success. No fail. Homework success tips for parents. So it's a stronger headline, isn't it, than we had before? Sort of a bit nice before. So it's a stronger headline. Let's try that. So no fail homework success tips for parents. We've got 260 here. And we're going to send that out now. There we go. So that's gone. All right. So have a go, see how you get on and try different variations of that. You'll find it's really, really powerful. So let me know how you get on and I'll see you on another video.